Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's been a day. I filmed and edited and was uploading this video. That entire process probably took three hours because there was a lot involved with it. And then while I was uploading it, I realized the entire time I thought I had purchased the Tineco iFloor 1 S3, which is $400. I was all excited because I got a good deal on it for $300. Turns out I purchased the Tineco iFloor S3, which is like the previous model, which is always $300, which is what I paid. So I was all excited because I thought I got a really good deal on the newest one and that's not the one I even freaking bought. <sighs> now, once I've done a little bit of research on them both, I don't think the newer one is worth $100 more, so it's not the end of the world. <sighs> it's just been one of those days. <laughs> so if at any point in this video I reference the Tonico iFloor 1S3, I think it was just the intro part of the video that I was talking about it. Disregard that, it's just the Tineco iFloor S3. There's not a lot of difference aside from the S3 is white and the 1S3 is black. And there's a couple random features on the newer one. But a little frustrated. So I apologize, the rest of this video I did film um, in our kitchen and in my living room talking about it. I just wanted to let you know that's why the intro is different. <laughs> I hope it's still helpful for you guys. Um, the review is going to be on the Tineco iFloor S3, not the 1S3. I, I can't believe I have been researching this product for like months on end now and I didn't realize there were two different ones aside from like the original original and the newest one. I didn't know there was one in the middle. Oh, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with the review. We personally have tile in our kitchen and our bathrooms and our entryway. The rest of the house is carpeted. Um, up until this point, I have been vacuuming the kitchen pretty much daily and then using a Swiffer pretty much daily. We do have a Bissell um, like floor cleaner for the kitchen, but honestly, who has time for that every week? Um, we have a toddler, so he makes lots of messes when he eats, of course. And so I was really looking for a nice, quick, easy solution that was really user-friendly um, and eliminated some of that extra time that I was having to spend cleaning. So, Let's go ahead and get started with the review. I've already used the product today. I'm so excited about it. I have been waiting forever uh, to get this. I saw it on Facebook and I knew immediately that I needed to have it. Unfortunately, it does come with a pretty hefty price tag. Um, it's sold on Amazon and on Best Buy's website. They had been sold out and then they would be back in stock and then they're sold out and then they're back in stock. Normally it's about $400. But last week I saw it went down to 300, so I splurged, I treated myself, and I got it. Um, I don't really feel bad about it because it's for cleaning, so that's how I'm gonna justify it. Um, so like I said, I did use it today um, in our kitchen, and I have some thoughts. Um, overall, really, really loved it. It's very easy to use. It's very user-friendly, so it was easy to put together if you have any common sense at all, you'll be able to um, use it often and um, be able to take it apart, put it back together, clean the pieces. Again, really easy, really user-friendly. Another thing I really liked about it was that the maneuverability was fantastic. So number one, it does not have a cord, so you don't have that in the way. And then number two, it's really light and I'll try to put a, um, a clip here. Um, when you're like moving the vacuum, you literally can like swerve it and it just moves so smooth and so nice. Um, 
I just really, really liked that. Um, when you turn it on, it's going to kind of pull forward a little bit. The suction is fantastic, I thought. Um, it got up crumbs really easily, like hairs, anything like that got up really easily. Um, and then also the mop factor part of it, it has a spinning brush kind of situation and it did really well for those lighter spills, lighter stains. Um, so like if you spill your coffee on the floor or um, any crumbs, like I said, if you spill something or like it dripped off the stove top and nobody cleaned it up that day, it'll be able to get it off the next day. With that being said, it's really not going to get those really tough to get out stains and spots or like if your food is spot welded to the floor, it's really not going to do a great job getting those things up. Um, for example, we have a toddler. Toddlers are freaking messy when they eat. Everyone knows that. Um, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, so it would do a good job to get those crumbs off. But like for example, if Grayson had a banana which we have often as a snack. Um, and he throws a piece of banana on the floor um, and bananas like dry and get like congealed and like sticky. If you have kids who eat bananas, you know what I'm talking about. They get like really sticky and like kind of dry um, and like spot welded to the floor. We have that happening in our kitchen right now and it did not get those kind of things up. So you're still gonna have to go and hand scrub those areas, um, which is not the end of the world. So I would say for everyday use, it's fantastic. While I was using it, you guys will see clips here um, of the size of our kitchen. I had to refill the tank one time. So I put in the tank, ready to go, and then I had to fill it up again empty it out and fill it up again. Um, so it took two tanks for the size of our kitchen, which is really not a big deal. I probably spent more time on it today than I normally would have, so I can probably get away with just using like one tank on a daily basis. Um, overall, again, really easy to use, good suction, good cleaning power. Um, I really liked it. Um, it's gonna get your floor about as wet as a Swiffer would if you have a Swiffer like the regular one or the wet jet um, That's the level of like wet that your floor is gonna be um, It did take a few minutes for that spin brush to really like soak up like the wetness and like the water um, So it was kind of drier at the beginning and then once I had spent a few minutes cleaning it started to like get a little bit more wet which is what I would prefer. Um, so that did happen, did take a few minutes to get there. Um, the screen, you, the screen faces you, and I'll again ins insert a video of what it looks like. Um, but on the screen, it shows you your battery life, if you're low on water, if the um, dirty water container needs to be empty, um, if the spin brush is, um, caught up anything like that if there's something wrong it's going to show you on that um panel so that's really freaking nice i really love that um that's how i could tell i was low on water because it it shows the battery in the middle and then on the left side it showed it showed that it was low on water and i looked down and of course it was low on water so that was really nice to not have to think about it and you just notice when it happens fill it up um again really user friendly really great um I don't have anything else to compare it to aside from um, we have like a Bissell vacuum like floor cleaner situation. It's really big and really clunky. It looks kind of like a carpet shampooer um, and that's what I had been using like every so often when I really wanted to clean our floors. I would compare it to that except it's like infinitely better than that because it's cordless, it's lightweight, it's really easy to maneuver. Um, and it cleans about on the same level as one of those does. So overall, I really, really liked it. I had a really good time um, using it. it. Again, it's cordless. Um, the battery, I forgot to mention the battery. So there's a little stand that it comes with. I'll insert a picture here and you literally just plug the stand in. So you plug the stand in and you just leave it plugged in or you can unplug it, whatever you want to do. And then you'll plop it on the stand and then you can do the self cleaning mode there and then it'll just charge as well. I 
freaking love that it is so handy when you're done not have to worry about plugging it in you just set it on the stand it charges um, I read in the instruction that the battery life has about 25 minutes so if you have a really big area that you're wanting to clean you might not have enough time to get it done um, our area is relatively small um, I would say that it took me like 10 or 15 minutes total and the battery had only gone down one notch. So you might be able to get like 30, 35 minutes out of it, um, just depending on how much surface area you're trying to clean and how deep of a clean you're trying to get out of it. But overall, I would recommend this product. I really do think it's amazing. I will um, leave the link to it through Amazon below. At this time, it is not an affiliate link, um, but it's just an easy way to get you there. I, I do know that this product goes in and out of stock all of the time, so I apologize if it's not in stock currently. Um, but if you can get your hands on it, you've got kids, or even if, even if you don't have kids, I think it's really great um, for the kitchen. You guys know, you get crumbs all over, over the place. Um, if you open the bread, you're liable to get um, some crumbs on the floor. That kind of thing, it's just really easy to clean for that spills, you know, just your everyday, day-to-day -day stuff that happens. It's really nice to use for that. Okay, that's all I've got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.